Hey guys, we're having lunch today in Little River, South Carolina, which is basically just below the border with North Carolina, a few uh, minutes north of North Myrtle Beach. And here in Little River, they've got a series of little restaurants here on the waterway. Uh, we're gonna try one we've not tried before, and that's Hurricane Jewels, as you see behind us. And we're gonna dine on the water today. So we're gonna check out Hurricane Jewels. You ready? I'm ready. Shirts or a hat here. And shorts. So here's the end of the dining area. They're not very busy right now. They're very spacious here. So we're going to eat out here on the water. All right, let's take a look at the menu. They actually have a very, very good selection of options on the menu. We were reading it before we came um, online, so let's try to go over some of these options with you real quick. These are your starters, your appetizers. If you're in the mood to try alligator, I think I got those, but I'll make sure I get them all. And then down here, this is called spoons and forks. They got low country clam chowder. Here are your sandwiches on the next page. And again, this is going to take a few minutes because they got a pretty. Actually, let me prop that menu up. If, that, if that'll stay, let's just see if that'll stay like that. Hear the birds out here because we're again on the water. Here's the off the docks oysters. How are y'all doing? Here's your main entrees. stand up there. Again, just look at the variety of stuff they've got. Ribs, shrimp and grits, steak. And it's actually, from the road, it looks like a small little place. I was surprised I, by how big it is I on the know. inside. It's actually Pretty much big bigger big. than when you walk up. Uh, yeah. The way it hits you. But they've already brought out the hush puppies. So, we're going to dig into those here pretty quick. I do want to show you this real quick. You can go ahead and eat if you want to. Um, I don't you to have to wait on me. These are your daily specials. And 
here is the Little River Waterway. Now, if you've seen us do our reviews in Calabash and dine on the water, like at Captain Nance's, uh, the Waterfront Seafood Shack, places like that, this is the same waterway. We're just actually a few miles down the river from there. This is a dolphin cruise here. This is another dolphin cruise. Something I really like, I like these benches, or these uh, chairs here. I don't, I don't know why, but I do. Kind of seems to fit. Yeah, it seems to fit the beach atmosphere here. Again, there's actually another seafood place right next door, and there's several more. Uh, we eat at Crab Catchers years ago. That's the one, the last one down there on this road. Okay, so we have placed our order. Mm -hmm. So I ended up getting the tacos. I got the seared Angus steak tacos. Um, had a black bean salsa and something else. I don't remember exactly. Greens, mixed greens with it, and I got the grits for my side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I got actually the daily special, which was uh, two options. Fried grouper was one. Eight ounce ribeye is the other. I almost went with the ribeye just because of all the fish we ate last night. But we also bought two steaks on sale at the grocery store to take home for lunch Sunday. So I'm on the waterway, I'm at the beach. So I did go with the fried grouper. Um, I'm sure the lunch portions are $13. I, it's not gonna be a big portion, I'm sure, for 13. The grouper usually, a decent sized grouper is going to be 19 20 in most places i did ask him i was kind of contemplating the soft shell i don't know if i'll tell this the soft should i tell this go ahead the soft shell crab sandwich but i'm a little bit of a softy when it comes to animals and stuff and i watched a documentary one time on how restaurants do soft shell crabs and a lot of restaurants keep them alive until somebody orders one and then the process process of removing the eyes and all that i just I asked him, I said, are y'all's already dead or are they alive? He says, they're already dead. So I almost went with that, but I didn't want to be the reason the crab had to go through that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, it, it was pretty gruesome what they do to them. But, um, you know, so I, I thought about it because our son loves soft shell crab. I don't know if I've ever had one. I don't uh, know that I have either. But I went ahead and just went with the fried group for $13 lunch portion. We're really not hungry yet <laughs> from last night. From yeah, I'm all just that, Captain George. Starting to yeah. get hungry. Yeah. So it's what two o'clock now, and this is our first meal yeah. today. We yeah. Yeah. So, and our last. So, anyhow, that's what I got was a fried grouper. So, mm -hmm. we've never eaten here before. Again, it's a lot bigger than I thought it. Was. It is. It's very. From just big. coming up from the road, it looks like it's tiny. Yeah. But it's really not. No, so. it's, it's not. It's pretty good size. And look what we got coming. Big. Thank well, you. Oh, well, we got, oh, wow. I'm guessing that's one of those cas casino cruises. Yeah, maybe. It don't um, look like there's many people on it. I don't know. It may not be. Uh, huh. What does it say? American Star on the front? Yeah, it don't say the casino. That in there behind's casino. I don't really want to advertise for that. But uh, that might be something. That, I don't know. That's pretty impressive. That's probably the biggest boat we've seen on this waterway here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, hold the camera on that until it goes by. See a set of drums up on top, I guess. Or nice lights, man. They look like drums. Oh. Uh, yeah. Huh. So, looks like they got like guest rooms. I know, that's what I was noticing too. I'm gonna ask you. People waving. Yeah. It's almost like a miniature carnival cruise ship to tell. <laughs> what is that exactly? I'm not sure. Um, That's not one of the casino ships, is no. it? No. Um, it's like a mini, mini cruise ship. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it did. Like it had guest rooms on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I'm about to look it up, but we have a boats like that will occasionally come through here. But really? I've never seen one that huh. They'll come through like night or usually during the day. Huh. Wow. Neat. Yeah. Saw so something new. Yeah. Oh, so one cool thing about sitting out here is we're getting to watch the boats come by. I always enjoy that. 
So those, that ship that went by, I don't know if it's necessarily that one or not, or how it's worked, but it's um, American Cruise Lines. I guess that's it. They're like over $4,000 for some of them. They got, that's, that's, I would not pay $4,000 cruise on that ship, but you can go on Carnival three times that size for yeah. a lot less. But, I mean, it didn't look I that mean, it said like American it. Star on it, right? That's what it said, American yeah. Star. I mean, right here's a... I get full is, it, is it part of the American Cruise Lines then? Are they, how long were their cruises? Well, some of them were like 12 days. I wonder where those all, those all go. I've never seen a cruise ship that small before. Well, they're showing some like the rivers in Florida. It's got New England. I said a, there was a history one. Yeah. Hey, I went to wash my hands and came back and the food is here. I'm gonna say I haven't had a bite yet, but for 13 bucks, I'm kind of impressed with the size of that piece of fish. Yeah. Um, it's pretty decent. It looks kind of thick too, so. Uh, what, tell us again what you got. What in the world is that on it? So that, it had a black bean salsa, um, okay. and then some sauce, and um, then it's got the um, steak in it. Okay. So it smells really good. Well. What do you think of the grits? Let they're me, good. I mean, they're. Let me sit down right quick. Sorry. They're not cheese grits, but they're good. Okay. They're good. So, let me try a little bite of the taco here. It's really good. A lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. What I said a minute ago about liking. These, bent, uh, these chairs, forget that. Because they're so high off the ground, I can't put my feet on the ground to adjust where I'm you can't sitting. Scoot yeah. forward very easily. So here, move that back just a little bit there. Uh, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to try a piece of this fish. Let me get one with more fish in it. That's like a lot of breading. Kind of falling apart. I want to show you. It's a pretty good thick piece of fish. Um, Looks very flaky. It, it's very flaky, falling apart. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it to hold together. But very good. I'm, I'm impressed for the money I'm paying for that. I'm impressed. Here's the ticket. Twenty-eight and change. Twenty-eight and change. Actually, I just noticed that there is a slight upcharge for the use of the card. Again, more and more places doing that. All right, just finished up here at Hurricane Jewels. Our first time eating here. Been coming to this area for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only eaten really at one other place on the Little River waterfront. We generally go up to Calabash, but we decided to do something different today uh, since this is not our main uh, trip in the spring when we have our set places we always go. We wanted to do, do some different places. So we decided to try this place. So, um, nice area here on the waterfront again very very spacious they got another i'm looking up there now they got an upstairs eating deck up there higher than where we sat yeah and right here is where we just sat by the way up up there on that one then up there is the other one up there so we decided to walk down here on the lower level and do the closeout um why don't you start us off and tell us about your experience today okay well it's a very nice building very nice <clears throat> Um, they bring you out a bowl of little hush puppy balls, um, and it's got the sweet butter, like I like. We did ask for some tartar sauces. Do you like that? They were very good. Um, I got the um, tacos, so it came with two tacos. It was steak. It had a black bean salsa and some type of spicy sauce on it. I don't remember exactly what it was called with some mixed greens in it. Very good. Very, very good. Um, and then I got the grits and they're, they're just plain grits so the leftover um, sweet butter I put in my grits and they were good so I enjoyed my meal okay would you do it again I would yeah and I got the uh, lunch special I was actually torn between a couple of things as I mentioned uh, they got a lot of really good sandwich selections or even burgers so they have pretty much I would say if you come here you can probably please everybody in the family just just from the variety on the menu they've mm -hmm. got so 
I was actually thinking about a couple of different things because you don't know how much seafood we ate last night. Uh, so, but I went with the group, grouper today, the fried grouper lunch special, $13. Um, it comes with fries and uh, coleslaw. Now, I'll start with the coleslaw. Uh, it was actually a wasabi coleslaw, but it was not hot at all. In fact, it wasn't till you mentioned it to me. Mm -hmm. I saw you it asked me how it was, and uh, I didn't even catch that. And you asked me how it was. You told me it was supposed to be wasabi. And when you said that, I could kind of barely taste it. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't have noticed it otherwise. I mean, wasabi can light you up if it's strong. But, yes, it can. <laughs> uh, this was not like that at all. I wouldn't even have noticed it. Uh, so uh, that was okay. The French fries were not any, I mean, just fries. That, that I guess if there's not really a negative to be said today, except maybe I wish I could have subbed something out for the fries because um, the fries were not much. But now the grouper itself, it was very, uh, the breading was very crunchy, I guess is the word. The fish was flaky. Good thick piece. I just couldn't get it to stay together long enough to show it to you on the fork. But very flavorful. And for $13 lunch portion, I was expecting smaller. I've actually paid more for grouper and gotten smaller and gotten less. Uh, so I was actually pretty impressed with what I got for $13 today. And it was a good quality. Um, I, there's not really a negative no, no. to be had here. The, the, I guess I will say this. Be aware that for the, a building this size, I only saw one restroom, and it was a uh, unisex restroom. It's not my preference, but I will say this one is clean. This was not a dirty restroom at all. Uh, been in some that are terrible. This was actually pretty well kept. Um, but there may be another one in, upstairs. I don't know. I, we didn't go up there, but uh, that's the only one I saw. But it's a spacious, very spacious place. So... Uh, not very busy at lunch. He told me they usually get busier in the evenings. Uh, right now it's Veterans Day weekend. A lot of people are just getting into town today too. Yeah. So it doesn't look like the place next door is very busy either. So, but anyway, I, I don't have any bad things to say about it. I think I can see us doing this again, and I'd like to try some other things when we do it. So there probably will be reviews from here again because overall it was a good experience. It was. It so was. anyway, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. And have a wonderful and blessed day.